Thank you very much for joining us today on the program, Healthy Living. I am Adesuwa Osa Owage. Today we are going to be looking at the complications of um, sexually transmitted diseases. What are the causes? Is there a reoccurrence? Can it be cured? After curing, will it come back again? What are the risk factors? What are things somebody should stay away from? At what age should uh, somebody be sexually active? This are many more we're going to be doing on the program today. And should uh, sex education be discussed? I'm sure doctor is going to tell us all of this because we need to know, are there vaccines? Are there drugs? Are there injections? You know, stuff like this are what we're going to be looking at today. And of course, you have to call in. The number to call in is 52 I need you all to do all the callings because a lot of times you see people, they will forget themselves. They'll be at bus stops, they'll be at locations, they'll be at functions, they'll be in the offices. And the moment that each come, they start scratching, 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 and then they forget what they're doing. Is that also sexually transmitted disease? If not, what is that thing? It's locally called sweetie. Yeah, that's what a lot of persons mm -hmm. call it. And it's common among students. So we're also going to look at that and see what the permanent cure will be, or at least something that will create some relief and how to avoid it. So I have with me in the studio, Dr. Jerry Osawaifu is the medical director of Fountain of Life Medical Center in Benin City here in Edo State. He's also a consultant gynecologist and one time CMD Central Hospital, the one we call specialist hospital here in Benin City. It's a pleasure to have you join us today. Yeah, it was a pleasure yeah, to be here. Thank yeah. you. So doctor, we're going to look at sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah. What are they? Is this just one? Is it just two? So tell us and yeah. uh, let us know if there are more than one yeah. any types. Uh, any disease that is transmitted sexually Mm. is referred to as a sexually transmitted disease. disease. Okay. okay, but by and large, we, we, we are talking about infections. Mm. So, and you find that you have a lot of infections that are transmitted sexually. Lots of them. Lots of them, lots of them. So, there are some that are bacteria, there are some that are viral, mm. there are some that are protozoan, okay, and, and on and on and on and on and on. So, but if you break them down, you find that you look at the bacteria ones, I will list, list, list them. There yes. are many. Mm. But we will list the ones that are And really, it's the common ones. The common ones that, that, uh, that uh, cause havoc or cause problems. Okay? Gonorrhea, we all know gonorrhea. It's mm. a very common thing. You know, in those days, I mean, once somebody has gonorrhea, it's like the ultimate mm -hmm. uh, gonorrhea. But it's still very much there. It still happens. And it, the funny thing about it is that the diagnosis of gonorrhea is most times based on just symptoms. Okay, and, and the signs that you see. Because most of the, 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 the laboratories are not able to isolate it. It's, it's a pity in, a, in, the, in this part of the, of the country or in the, the world. Except very few labs that are able to isolate and culture gonococcal uh, organisms. Okay, they are called gonococcal organisms. So they call them there. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's one of the bacterial infections. Okay. There are others like. Uh, uh, Chlamydia, that's another yeah. common one, but that's the one that a lot of people don't know about, is a silent destroyer, okay? Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Another infection, yes. Yeah. They have what they call uh, uh, toxoplasmosis. That one is more like a, uh, a protozoan, okay. but it, they all belong to a group they call touch organism. T for toxoplasmosis, uh, T for toxoplasmosis, R for rubella, then C for cytomegalovirus, Mm. And then H for herpes. Herpes. Okay, herpes is very viral. So, apart from these ones, you also have uh, things like star, uh, streptococcus. And those are not really the, the, the problem. But for a woman, when they have gonococcal infection or viral infection, mm. or uh, uh, chlamydia infection, chlamydia. or even uh, 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 the one I mentioned earlier, syphilis, syphilis. can cause a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, those, the first two I mentioned are the two organs that are really incriminated in pelvic inflammatory disease, disease. that we'll talk about. Okay, what is the pelvic inflammatory disease? Infection coming from the genital, genital lower tracts, ascending up to affect the upper part of the genital tract, the uterus, the ovaries, and the, the surrounding organs like the ovaries and all that. That's a topic of its own. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to just mention it. So, we are the two, two main organizations that are known. And it's quite common in, even in the U.S. United States of America. Then, when it, examples of viral infections, you have uh, HIV, one way of HIV. Yes. Uh, you have hepatitis B and C. Mm. Then you have uh, 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 herpes, okay, herpes virus. Then you have, uh, uh, what have you again, uh, what they call uh, hemophilus ducre. That one is actually a bacteria. Okay. Hemophilus, they will mention what they cause later, what each of them cause. Okay, hemophilus ducre is also an infection that can equally easily affect anybody. Then generally, you, have, you can have other organisms that are common within the, uh, the intestine. There are only, only bacterial organisms and only viruses that are in the intestine. Normally, they are there. But, uh, but once they contaminate the genital tracts, Okay, they can cause infection and they can be transmitted sexually to other persons. You know, they feel uh, uh, almost like E. coli, we call it E. coli for short. It's your E. coli, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, you know, uh, and, and uh, so. So, so how would somebody produce? know that he or she yeah. has a, S a SDI or STD, as the case may be? Okay, well, they all present uh, different debates. Most of those, uh, something like Guno, Kukalemism. The man or the woman, they have bony sensation while they are passing urine. Bonuses. That was very typical. They have bony sensation while they are passing urine, and then they may have frequencies that they feel like going to pass urine frequently, mm. and then they may also have uh, urgency. Yes. That is, they want to go and quickly pee. So that's when it affects the urinary system. So you have signs of what we call urinary tract infection. Yes. And then it may go on to produce discharge, mm. discharge in, in the woman and even the man. Okay. The man will feel, will not start seeing so whitish or um, uh, pollen discharge coming out through the urethra. Okay. Okay. The female will see the discharge coming out through her vagina. Okay. Because of the infection. Yes. Uh, usually, these are things that will attract attention. You, you know, normally the woman has discharge. So yes, there's, 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 there's normal discharge. Every woman, I mean, should be used to care of each other. It's normal. Mm -hmm. As you go go on, you notice the little discharge you have that is typical of the phase of the cycle. There is a child that comes out when it's close to your ovulation period. You are like, like um, it's slimy, you can stretch between your fingers, mm -hmm. it's not offensive, you know, and then the way to ovulate, it becomes thickened. Okay, because it's whitish, it will over, you know, can over stretch it between your fingers. Okay. It's normal, so it's by physic. Okay. And then when, they, when a woman sees a period, after passing out the, the period, towards the end, is that passing uh, the liquid that will start going off the red, and they like water, and it will not stop. Mm. Those are normal. Okay. Okay, but when you have, but you have this child is offensive, or it's producing itching, or it's causing pain, okay, then of course you know, or it's offensive, that is how odor. Mm. Then the color too will be very important. Some of them will be yellowish, some will be greenish, yellowish, and depending on the kind of infection that they have. Sure. But basically, the viruses do not really produce uh, discharges, most of them okay. produce discharges. It's mainly the bacteria that, that produces discharge. discharge. You know? But the one thing I want to say is that uh, outside the, the chlamydia and the, the gonococcus, 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 is very common. Mm. There's a particular one, syphilis. It's also a bacterial infection. There are a lot of people may not even notice. They, 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 they have a kind of uh, boil that, they, that will now break down and become an ulcer that they saw. Yes. You are a painless at the first time it will appear. They do not heal and go away. No, the disease is there. So the secondary one, may, uh, it's a, a, what we call a chancre, may appear again. Well, okay. well, 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 yeah, well, 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 so it will be there, then it will cause the swelling is really bigger than what you have in some other barrier infection I'll mention it, uh, uh, shortly. You know, so those ones are there, but the advantage is that when we talk, talk, to, talk about prevention and treatment, what people should do when they notice something unusual, mm -hmm. uh, what they should do, okay? Then, when you, you don't come to the viruses, HIV will know, you may have HIV and not even know. You contract it and it's usually surgery trans transmitted, mm -hmm. it's all transmitted through other means, like blood transfusion, using common sharing common needles, with those that are infected, and so on and so forth. Or giving blood that is not by the screen. Okay, not screen uh, containing uh, 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 the virus of, mm. of, for, uh, for uh, the HIV, human, human immunodeficiency virus, okay. that's HIV. That will go on to cause AIDS. It's not AIDS yet because mm. there are no counters. It's only when it gets to a stage where the immune system is compromised 
that you now call it acquired uh, immune deficiency uh, syndrome. syndrome. That one becomes AIDS. But a lot of people are moving around, looking healthy, but they are carrying as they are, they are, they, they are, they are, yeah, they are serum positive for HIV. You know, then you have other viruses like, like I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, herpes. Herpes is one viral infection that a lot of people have and they may ignore. If you come out, usually the viruses that will come out, they, they appear to be in crops. They will come out, they will be tiny, like tiny, tiny, tiny dots. Okay. Usually occur in one, but before they appear, the person will, have, uh, will experience pain, usually around the region, around the, the, the genital uh, organ, okay. before the thing will not finally appear. Then, if you appear, then it will serve it, it will not become ulcer. You now have tiny, 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 tiny ulcers that will not become, to, that will not come together and become a big sore. Hmm. You know, they become a big sore. That one on the soul, you know, can easily be transmitted. It's, it's transmitted more at that, at that phase when you have the ulcer appearing. Hmm. If a, the man has it means a woman, or the woman has it means a man, it can easily be trans, uh, transmitted at that stage. Then you also have. Uh, the the uh, um, the one they call the papilloma, papilloma virus, yes. HPV. HPV is an infection that is it is common. It's common because you find that it spreads not just on the genital organ itself and the, the, the public area. So you find that condoms cannot even prevent it. That's why I always say that the people who use condom yes. they prevent all STI. No, it's not true. Because you can have it all around the perineal area. The corner can only cover the male organ or the female whatever. But you find that the, the, the thing is all, all over the place and the perineal area. So when you have, you have contact and you have any blood around the area, you can even have it transmitted. Mm. That is not a male virus. Then there are the ones that are no visible virulence. Those ones cause what we call genital warts. Okay. Genital warts. The genital warts, they appear, they, they look like small leaf that are projections from the female vagina or the vulva and sometimes on the cervix. Mm -hmm. Then you can also, for the male, it can appear on the male organ. The, the penis, it will, be on, it will not be on top. But it's not very common. How is it like? They look like small, small leaves that are growing out, okay? They, are, they, are, they project. You see them like small, small, small flowers, okay. so to say, but skin. But the shape they have will give you a picture of maybe a, flower, a leaf of a flower. Oh, that kind of thing. Uh, they may be a, a single, multiple, spread over a large area, on the vagina, on the vagina wall, on the vulva itself, or even, or even on, on the cervix. Wow. Okay, I wish I, wish I, I brought pictures of how I can predict that shoot. Mm. You know? So, that one, it can occur and it can be transmitted from one person to another, whether male to female or female to male. Mm. But the high middle age one, because there are several types, type 18 and 31 particularly, can go on to cause cancer of the cervix. So that is why these days, cancer of the cervix is now referred to as a sexually transmitted disease. Because well, it, has been, it has been proven that HPV is basically the cause of cancer of the cervix. How is this diagnosed? Yeah? How, how, how does one know what's the test for it? What's the diagnosis for it? No, you, you can run blood, the blood test. So a serological test can be done. Mm -hmm. Then you can also take samples from, from lesions. When you have this, when you see the lesion. Because once you see it, most of the time you are experienced, once you see HPV infection, Jones. okay, for like the uh, what? You see that you know this, this is a bubble, this is a what? You don't even need to do any, any other investigation. But for the one that causes uh, cancer of the cervix, it may not present as, as what or anything, but it will just affect the cervix and remain dormant, remain there until eventually the cause changes in the cells, in the cervix, that will now become cancerous. Okay? Well, thanks to God for this. There are, there are vac vaccines, vaccines we can use, but usually it's recommended that it's given to, to young girls growing up between the ages of about 11, if not 9 to about 13, 13 years. Okay, nine but years. it can be extended to about 25 years okay. for those that have not been, that are lucky and have not been infected. Okay, once they, are, they have the, the vaccine, you are taking three doses. First one, after first one, you take another one in four weeks, another one in six months or thereabout. Okay, let so, me take you back to yeah. gonorrhea, which is one of the commonest yeah. uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Mm -hmm. Some persons have argued that, oh, th uh, they didn't get it from anybody. Maybe they got it from the toilet. How possible that is? You see, again, I will just use the opportunity to correct what people, a lot of people say. They'll say, I have toilet infection. Mm -hmm. Any woman that has a vaginal discharge, all they come to tell you is that I have toilet, toilet infection. Toilet infection. You know, how do you know it's toilet infection? 
it, but is there anything like toilet infection? There's nothing like toilet infection. You have infection we can get from anywhere. You can get it from the toilet. You can get it from, from sexual, your sexual partner. You can get it by contaminating yourself with particularly for those that wash themselves from back forwards. Like I told you earlier on, I told you earlier on that the feces mm. is loaded with a lot of bacteria. So if you wash from back forward, particularly for the females, you know you can really contaminate yourself yes, and then sir. you get infected. And then it may not be because you have met any man. So you just have an infection. Forward, yes, it's better to clean or wash from backwards, from forward, backwards. Otherwise, you can contaminate yourself and have what we call auto infection. You can inf auto infect yourself. Okay. So that one can happen. But uh, for uh, what, what, what have you know, the gorilla you talked about, it is usually sexually transmitted. Usually, it doesn't so it's be not something you get from maybe wearing somebody's clothes because no, some no. persons will say, Okay, because I wore this person's no, uh, no. pair of uh, uh, trousers or no. something, this thing. No, so even it HIV, HIV, HIV don't transfer that. It has to be way. sexually transmitted. Yes. So, how is it treated? Uh, we are going to react. It's very easy to treat that. The good thing about it, you know, usually uh, injections are given or even other drugs are given, antibiotics are used. Okay, I may not mention the names of the antibiotics, no, but antibiotics are used yes. to treat to treat uh, uh, gonorrhea. Chlamydia are the same thing too. Chlamydia, I mentioned those two. Those two are very important because they can cause pelvic inflammatory disease. And the problem with pelvic inflammatory disease, most young women or young men, they go to chemists when they have some that symptom coming at the beginning. They go and swallow the drugs, buy two, uh, the three capsules of uh, tetracycline. Uh, the two flagellum, because they, that's what they all do. They take it and it does not modify the cause of the illness. Okay? The illness, may, it will not manifest the way it's supposed to manifest. And the person will feel having a feeling that he's getting better. Meanwhile, the infection is going on. Mm. The destruction is going on. And if, he has, if the person has peri inflammatory disease, it can damage the, the, the wound, damage the tubes. The woman can have. That's when it's not uh, treated. So, yes, properly treated. Properly but treated. unfortunately, a lot of persons don't even know yes. that this is going on with them, that yes. they, are, they are having one. Uh, 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 sexually transmitted disease or the other. Yes. They may just not know because some don't even present. Like the one any, let me I mentioned, may not, have, may not even present any, any symptoms. Any symptoms. But so. the woman may just have a discharge that she may ignore. Usually, the, in women, they have discharge. The man may not have any symptom at all. Mm. It, but you know what crazy you know? thing about women is this: once they see some signs, yes. the next thing is they are heating up water. They are putting uh, lime and all sort of concussion into the water and then sit on the steam so that they say when the steam goes in, it will burn like, everything. Yeah. And then others will like insert garlic. <laughs> then some will swallow garlic and then um, they feel all that all do, they do, they do they really work? All the, no, 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 they don't work. They don't work. You see, even the bacterial infection, you need antibacterial ag agents to, 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 to treat, your, to treat the, the person. Mm. Yeah, and in most cases, you do not have chlamydia or gonorrhea, it's always better to, for them to have long enough treatment because of PID. As long as 10 days antibiotic, Ten consistent days. That's, use, that's yes. A long one. Yes, otherwise they, they have the risk of having infection that will damage their wound, they, mm -hmm. they have what they call sinicate, or they go to damage the tubes that will be totally blocked or partially blocked. If it's partially blocked, there's a danger of the person having a total pregnancy. Okay, if it's blocked completely, infertility. Infertility. Then if it goes on and then whatever happens within the tube, you know, with the link between the tube and the, the general uh, pelvis or the abdomen, if the inflammatory uh, uh, liquid enters the pelvis, it does not cause pelvic peritonitis. That may eventually lead to additions in the pelvis, pelvis. and chronic pelvic pain. You can imagine a woman living all her life having pains yeah. in, the, in the pelvis. They cannot treat it. No matter what you do at that time, no matter what antibiotics you give, you can no longer cure it because the damage has already been done. Yeah. So she was just having chronic pelvic pain because of, the, because of that carelessness or the, because, of, because of the fact that they had the, the problem and they, they treated this in, in, in the wrong way. So it is always better when a woman or a man notices anything that is abnormal, like you are, you are having body sensation or you are passing urine or you are having a discharge coming out of your, of your organ, okay? then it's not a normal thing. You must go and complain. Or if you're having discharge, again, one thing I, I, I forgot to mention, mm. you can also have fungal infection, okay. which is very common. Fungal. Candida. You can have candida infection. Candida may present with discharge. And discharge usually will be, will be such that it will, it, will be, it, will, it will break, it can break like garlic. You know, that's the way I always have, uh, describe it. And it usually causes a lot of itching. They will itch and itch and itch and itch. Mm -hmm. And they may have odor, they may not have odor. Then, there's another one that's very close to it that is like, I'm not, I'm like on, on the other side of Putos 1. 
that we call trichomonal infection. Yes. Trichomonal. Those are those two we call discharge, but discharge is typical. Usually it may be yellowish. Maybe it may be a kind of yellow discharge. Okay, it may be yellowish, then it may be cord like cord like cord like, okay, like like thicker can we call it like that, so like that kind of thing. You have small, 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 uh, like that. And then it will be itchy and it may have some offensive odor. Okay? okay. So they all have their, 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 their various uh, ways of, uh, of being treated. All right. You know that um, we are looking at uh, sexually transmitted disease. All you have to do for us today is call us on 052-290-573, ask the doctor questions, and then see if you can get answers. The moment he leaves, I will not be able to give you answers. And then when you're calling, reduce the audio level on your television set so that you can speak with the doctor. I'm speaking with Dr. Jerry Osa Owai, who is the CMD Fountain of Life Medical Center here in Benin City. He's a consultant gynecologist, okay? So give him a call. He knows what he's uh, here to do, all right? So, uh, doctor, is it possible for, for one to treat any of those... Um, sexually transmitted diseases, and then it occurs again. Yes, it's very, very possible to, to treat mo uh, most of them. Like even the viral ones, uh, the viral infections, you know, when the drugs are, when drugs are given to treat them, mm. they are not curable. Okay? Not curable. If you reduce the viral load to a very, very minimum, mm. then some of the viruses will not go on, still stay somewhere, hide in the nerve root, and remain dormant. They just stay there. Until maybe somewhere along the line, maybe the immunity of the person is reduced a little bit, and then they, they come again and prosper. Mm -hmm. They prosper, they come forth. And, <laughs> and they prosper, they multiply. They yeah, multiply again and they come forth and you find that the one, the person or the man or the one will notice rashes, the same rashes again appear, uh, uh, occurring. Mm. Okay? So, and then uh, for, for, so this infection like hepatitis, yes. hepatitis B, very, it is very also sexually transmitted. Okay? It can be tra just, in fact, the transmission of hepatitis B is just the same way as HIV is transmitted. HIV is transmitted. Okay? True blood transfusion that is not properly screened. And, and is it curable, the hepatitis? It's not curable as well. Okay? So it's which of the hepatitis is curable? None of them is curable. There's hepatitis you treat, you A, there's B. Yeah, B there's, but the one that we really, we really talk about and we are really scared about is hepatitis B and B. C. Yeah. B and C. Okay? The B, yes, hepatitis B can easily be contracted. It can be, it can be given to anybody. Sexually or through other means. Okay. Share of middle, middle sh uh, sharp, sharps in the hospital. Maybe someone that has hepatitis B. Mm. Uh, the, the doctor or the medical health worker get uh, pricked by the needle and so on. You can, but the good news about the good news about hepatitis is that you have a vaccine for it. For it, okay. So these days now it is, it is added to the immunization that we are giving to children. Mm. So if I in the future. We don't, may not be having hepatitis yeah, anymore, hepatitis anymore, anymore because they are being immunized now. Okay. Just like what smallpox was in those days. Yes. All over the world now, smallpox is not zero. It's not anywhere. Okay. I'm sure a time will come where hepatitis B will completely wipe out with the way it is going. If all babies are immunized and all that. Mm. So that's, that's one that can be taken care of by immunization. Okay. HIV, there's no, no, no permanent care, care for it so far. Then other viruses too, like uh, uh, herpes, like herpes. I mentioned, you don't have it. I want to mention something. You have herpes genitalis that is affecting the genital organ. You can also have herpes labialis. A lot of people have herpes without knowing. Without knowing. Sometimes they have fever. They have blisters on their on their, yes. on their, on their lips. I was going to go to that. They have blisters on their lips. They say, oh, fever. They don't have malaria. That is herpes you have. Herpes. Is it, herpes is it herpes labialis. Is it that is herpes? <laughs> because, because sometimes... Are you scared? Most, <laughs> most people... <laughs> You know, sometimes they have malaria and then you say blister your hand. You <laughs> so, be scared. In most cases, it is happy labialis. In it most is cases. Labialis, labialis affecting the lips. The lips. <laughs> yes. So yeah. how, is that, how is that contracted too? Is it sexually transmitted? You know, the person may, may have gotten the herpes. And the herpes is now in the, in the system. Okay. And it can cause herpes genitalis, herpes labialis. And it, it can even have to call every herpes zoster. Every sister, that one affects areas that are supplied by a particular nerve. They call dermatome. Okay. Very painful. It can just appear maybe somewhere here. Okay. A particular area where a particular nerve supply. Because they, they, they hide along the nerve. Along the nerve. So the when, they, when they are going to come up, they also form the nerve and go to a particular area and cause what they call happy sister. So how do you treat that? You treat them. They are just used to treat them. Okay. But like I said, you cannot completely cure it. When you use the drug, it reduces the viral load. And some of them are so clever, they, 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 go, they go to hide somewhere, usually in the nerve roots. And it cannot be completely... Yeah, it cannot be completely... Yeah, that, just like HIV. 
Not like HIV, no cure yet. No, 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 I'm particularly scared of the one that comes to the lips. <laughs> because it's common. A lot more have you know, children. They don't know. Children who are very innocent. Yeah. You see it, they, 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 they do have it sometimes. All these, a lot of these innocence can be transferred to the baby. I'll give you an example. The, the uh, gender word I told you, told you about before, mm. uh, called by human papilloma virus. When a woman has gender herpes, we avoid delivery through that route. Okay. You deliver the woman by sexual section because you don't want it to affect that child. The child, child. Does the child can even inhale, can even the, the thing and it may cause a dangerous yeah. problem. And when they are pregnant, you don't, you cannot, you don't treat them. You don't treat it. It's, it's very easy to treat. Okay, there's a, a particular lotion that can be applied to the what and the all uh, uh, slough off. But the virus will still remain inside you. But the what you are, you are good, you are taken care of. Mm. Okay? So to tell you how most of these diseases are transferred to, to babies. All right, tell I, us. I mentioned before, touch, touch complex. Touch complex. That yes. tea, touch. That's why most pregnant people, when they are pregnant, will screen them because even you can treat. You can treat simply because of bacteria. Okay. You can treat it, treat it and very simple. You can use a long acting injection. Okay, long acting penicillin in general usually that can clear, can clear it. Okay, and that baby will not be affected. So it's part of the thing we do for screening. We screen for HIV, screen for hepatitis B and C, screen for uh, syphilis. Okay. okay, let's look at uh, the, the implication of self-medication. Yes. Because you see a lot of women with tubes. Yes. When you check, an average lady has a tube in her bag <laughs> because you say, oh, to guide against toilet disease, to guide against toilet infection. So we don't want to mention this, but there's always this tube yes, yes. with almost every lady. Yes. And you keep wondering, why is this? Yes. Is, it, is it wise it's for not, a it's, woman it's to It's not wise at all. It's not wise at all. Because it's not wise because, you see, by the time you indulge in okay, taking... Okay, doctor, let's quickly take this call. Then we'll talk about self-medication. Hello, yeah. caller. Good afternoon. Tell us your name and ask your question. Muiwa. Yeah. Okay. What of what? Staphylococcus. Well, I was expecting someone okay. to ask that question. Muiwa, what do you want to know about Staphylococcus? All right, Dr. Muiwa wants is to it, know what Staphylococcus is. Staphylococcus is everywhere around us. Okay. If you take a swab of your skin like this mm. and culture, you culture staph. The staph, staph, staph there. So, a lot of uh, staph infection that people treat are not only infection with their contaminants. For example, they say go and collect your urine for microscopic so, cultural sensitivity. Mm -hmm. The urine collected, maybe with the wife collecting it, the tissue, the person used to drop mm -hmm. the body. Okay? And staff from the skin contaminates it. Okay. You culture staff, staff locos. Or the container you are using is already infected, uh, uh, contaminated. You culture staff locos. Yes. So, Kamilokos is not, is not what people paint it to be. Mm -hmm. Staff in most cases can cause infection. Yes, I agree. Is that sexually not transmitted? Not, no, it's not in the group of sexually transmitted. Okay. It's not there at all. It's not there at all. Because, you know, you know, you know there's, there's, there's all. this group of people you see around Benin, particularly yeah, at the King all. Square, in small, small vehicles. You yeah. hear them say, Staphylococcus, Gondococcus, you know, this kind of thing. Yes. And the surprising thing is this they get patronage. Yes. They do. You see a lot of young boys, a lot of young men, uh, young ladies around those vehicles buying children. They do that because by the way, they don't have it. They will say, I'll go to the hospital. I will not pay for card. Mm. I will not, even if you are going to, even go to government, you have to pay for card. No, no matter, of it's cheap, you pay for card. Mm. You, you have to go to see a doctor. The doctor will not prescribe. You go to pharmacy. Or you will say, go and do this test. The young feel the shop cut out is, ah, this is somebody, somebody advertising care of uh, Saphilococcus. Why can't I just buy this capsule? But in most cases, what they give to you will not only cure the illness you have. And it may not even be Saphilococcus you have. Mm -hmm. You have something else. And they don't give it, they believe Cactococcus is the worst infection anybody can have. Maybe because of the way it sounds, Staphylococcus, they stand very big. <laughs> and so people just. Staph is everywhere, it's everywhere around the body. If you take a swab of your skin, you will cause Staphylococcus. It's everywhere around us. Okay, so Muiwa, know it today that Staphylococcus is not a sexually transmitted yes. disease, okay? Yes. It's everywhere, according to Dr. Hello, caller, good afternoon. Tell us your name and ask your question. Uh, I'm here, I'm coming to Wells from Benin. Okay, Wells. You want to talk about what? Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. So I have to later on I was having it all over my body. Then I went to go and do test the service at the focus. Then I now went down with the public lab and I went to visit the TH. I don't tell nothing in that name. 
but I make up that group of mm. of uh, if you call bacterial vaginosis complex. Okay, it can cause vaginal discharge. It can cause all kinds of things. You have micro, microplasma hominis, mm. microplasma uh, hemolyticus, and so many, many, many of them. All those names are very big. They are very big. So that's why I don't know so, what so the of them that can cause this discharge. So what did what the doctor does using asking you questions about okay, you have itching, I don't have itching. What the color of the discharge? The color was also telling. The color we have a, a smell that looks like fish, smell like fish. Mm. That fish smell may give it away that this may be bacterial vaginosis. Okay. But the typical smell. Like it smells like fish, so you know that you you are, you are treating bacterial vaginosis. Then you give the combination therapy, okay? That you have to get out. I don't need to allow to mention that. And, and it will be good again. And it will be good again, yes. But the problem we have most cases, treatment failure is usually due to one patient no, no compliance. No compliance. One that's one. Then even when the patient complies, they don't take it the way doctor has actually said prescribed. take it. They say three times a day. They may take it once a day. Or two times a day. Or maybe or, when, when, when he doesn't see it, yeah. he doesn't charge again. Maybe he's getting better. So I'm better. I'm After two days, he stops. You, you have not treated it well. And then treatment of your partner. Say your partner is very most important. If you are if you have been treated, you know you have a sexual partner. Then now your sexual partner will be treated as well. Mm -hmm. Just the way you are treated. Otherwise, you go back there, you get it. And get it again. If she's treated, you are not treated, you go give it back to her. And it becomes a table tennis kind of so, thing. So a couple must it, be treated ping -pong, together. You play to me. I play to you. Okay. Give me, I give you. Give me, give you. It's going to continue. <laughs> so, anytime you are treating anybody, you must, one, take the drugs the way they are prescribed daily. Mm -hmm. You must take it long enough the way the doctor has told you. If it's seven days, take it for seven days. Take it completely. And then you must treat your sexual partner. These are the sort of causes of failure, treatment failure. Okay. In, so, in, compliance in, is important. Yes. Yes. 0 5 2 2 9 0 5 7 3 is the number. Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What is your name? Where are you calling from? My, my name is Paul. Okay, Paul. I'm call, yes, I'm calling from Benin, Adwawa. Okay, nice to have you on the program. Yes, yes. I used to have uh, some pain by the waist. And I've seen uh, my NHS doctor several times, and he could not tell me it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, pain. Uh, what, what do you call it? Then I also went to see the, the regular doctor at the central hospital. And they, they, they said the same thing. But I don't know. I could not do the treatment. It's, it's not okay, what did they say is wrong? You said they said it's this thing. We don't know what that thing is. Huh? What did the doctor say is wrong? Uh, arthritis. Okay, arthritis. They okay. it arthritis. But okay. I don't I wonder why it's not, it doesn't go fine. It doesn't go, if you go and court, we go and come. I cannot take treatment. Okay, okay. unfortunately, we are not treating arthritis today. Well, let me just uh, also say something about it. Okay. We have to say arthritis, yes. But you find, you see, arthritis is something that comes with age. We, we don't know how old you are, but it can occur even in younger people. Younger people. Okay, depending on uh, your occupation, what you have been exposed to your lifestyle and so many other things mm. and when, once you start having arthritis it's very difficult to treat and treat finally i mean completely okay okay something you have to live with and treat and maintain for life that is the gospel truth okay that's the gospel truth so i think you should always see your doctor okay and uh, get some treatments and live a happy life hello caller good afternoon hello 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 all right, Doctor. Let us yeah. look at um, again. Though you have mentioned it, let us quick, uh, quickly itemize what can happen to a person who has sexually transmitted disease, whether gonorrhea, whether syphilis, whether herpes, whether um, uh, HIV, uh, HIV, HPV, all of those. Let's let's just extra what will happen okay. if that person leaves it untreated, okay. and if they, you know, we are we are, we are in this habit of like, eh, I bet what cream did you use the other day when yes, this, yes. this this was happening to you, undermining the fact that you might not that person might not be going yes. uh, through what the other person has see, gone I'll through. I will tell you a story. You know, this is a, life, a true life story. Okay, let's quickly take this call. I think it's a lady. Hello. Hello. Ah, lady. Good afternoon. How are you? Vera, where are you calling from? Vera, do me a favor. If you speak up, we'll be able to hear you. What do you have, Vera? 
I guess Vera is not on the line again. Mm. All right, when you're calling, I was uh, happy that the lady called in. When you are calling in to ask questions, please be bold enough to speak up. Just speak up. Person will hide sick, he go hide die, okay? So just speak up so that the doctor will hear what you're saying and then tell you what to do. And others who might be in such a condition will know what to do, okay? So, call us again, Vera. Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you tell us your name? Favor. Your favor. All right, favor, where are you calling from? Okay, go ahead with your question, favor. Okay, there's this thing I've been doing and I've treated it twice and it came back again. What do you have that you have treated before? I don't I don't even and what what are you complaining? I forgot Favor, can you when I have my period, like after the period I I start eating and there's rashes, something like rashes, and then after some days it goes, then I start seeing the start with offensive odor. I don't know what that is. Okay, you got it? Yeah, you see. When you have a discharge, it can be anything. That's why, you see, I will answer your question by telling you this story. Okay. The true life story. Okay, you know, this young girl that had vaginal discharge, that was going from place to place, going to chemist and using all these tubes that the people mm. use and to insert things and doing all sorts of things, and he was having discharge. And discharge never didn't go. She kept on going from place to place, visiting some hospitals, but nobody ever cared to take a look. Okay? By the time she came and I saw her, she told me the story. I shall be to so many places, I shall see doctor. Ah, what could be wrong? Anything can be wrong, anything can cause vaginal discharge. From cancer of the cervix, infection, foreign body, and even if something wrong in the womb. You can have you can have fibroid, if you want to call fibroid polyp, that is damaging the womb, you can cause discharge. It can be anything. So, for example, if the child is caused by uh, fibroid polyp, can you say, what do I say, can you cure it? No. no. So the thing is to find out what is causing discharge. This particular girl I'm talking about, when they love, like when she came, I said, okay, let, let me go and examine you. And before when I examined you, I saw something that was, that was kind of plastered to the inner part of her posterior, part of her vagina. I tried to, to, to scoop it out. It came out. By the time we examined it, it was like a cutting wool. Wow. That cutting wool had been there for many, many years. Giving her that problem, causing discharge. Very offensive or smelly. That was the cause of her problem. I took it out, gave her drugs, and that was the end of the discharge. Mm. You know? So, what caused the discharge in this case now? It was... It's, it's always right foreign to, body. Foreign body. Foreign body caused it. So, it's always right to know what, what is, is causing the discharge. the discharge. Is it, is it infection? If it's infection, can it be chlamydia? Can it be candida? Can it be trichomona? Can it be any of these infections that we so talked about? the bottom line here is to go for diagnosis. Go for diagnosis. A doctor, a, a doctor that knows what knows about it. Okay. And, like, yes, doctors are specialized in various areas. A lot of doctors now do what, do it to any area, uh, but you see a gynecologist that knows okay. everything that, that, about that what, it, what it is. Hello, caller. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please tell us your name, where you're calling from, and Hello. ask your question. Precious. Precious. All right, Precious, what's your complaint or what do you want to talk to the doctor about? Since October. You have not seen your period, you've gone for a test, they say you're pregnant, but you're not seeing any sign. Yes, okay, you wait till after the program, I'll give you a number to call, okay? So you can do a follow-up. We're not uh, dealing with pregnancy today. Or is it possible for a woman to be pregnant and because of infection she will not know? No. You see, if you are pregnant, if it's positive, it is positive. Mm -hmm. But I want to say that there are times you, you can have a negative pregnancy test when you are pregnant. Okay. And there are times too, you can have a positive pregnancy test when well, you are not pregnant. pregnant. It's quite possible. Okay. Now, the hormones eh, that, that are in women, there are quite a number of them. 
the what made the urine, urine uh, or blood to process when you do the pregnancy test is a, 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 a hormone called HCG, mm. human chlorine gonadotrophin, that comes out from the pregnancy, that enters the blood and eventually enters the urine. That's what gives it the, the positive pregnancy test. There's another hormone that is called luteinizing hormone. It is similar in structure to this same HCG. If you have very high levels of uh, this, uh, this particular thing in the, in, in the, in the blood, mm. you can test positive when you are not pregnant. So you can have false positive pregnancy tests sometimes. You are not pregnant and yet you have positive test. Okay? And the same way, if you do pregnancy test so early, too early, it may tell you you are not pregnant, whereas you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. So all these things are there, but at the end of the day, once we now actually confirm it, it's an ultrasound scan okay. that, will, that will clear the air. It is important because if you do ultrasound scan, it will tell you, confirm pregnancy if it is there, and it will just tell you where it is. Okay. Is it in the right place? Is it ectopic? Okay. Or otherwise? If it's ectopic that is early, something can be done that will, that will can make you to go to that, that problem of having a ruptured ectopic and then having so an operation. If it's picked up early with ultrasound scan, drugs can be used, and then you see yourself the problem of doing any operation. Okay, what's the implication of a woman being pregnant and then having one sexually transmitted disease or the other? No, no, no. If a woman is pregnant, she has to have a pregnancy. It affect, it affect the, the pregnancy. Mm. It can affect the pregnancy. And can she bring it to 10? And, and, and it can cause a loss of pregnancy at the early stages. In fact, most uh, miscarriages that occur under 8 weeks eh, of are either infections or abnormalities. 80% of miscarriages mm. that occur under 8 weeks. Either infections or abnormalities. abnormalities. Okay, in, in that baby. Okay, so... If it happens, they, they, can, they, can have, they can have a discourage because of the infection. But some women may have infection, it may not affect the baby at that stage, but it may cause other problems in the baby that will manifest later. For example, if a child, the baby, baby has uh, rubella, it can affect the brain. Oh. You have Zika virus. You heard about the story of Zika virus that occurred in Brazil. Course, yeah. Baby that were born will have a small, small head, heads. small head, microcephaly. You know? So all these effects can, can, can happen depending on the kind of infection you have. Some can affect the heart. Syphilis can affect the heart, can affect other organs in the body, and then affect that baby, being per se, and can have all kinds of problems in the baby. Mm -hmm. So it all depends. Some will cause miscarriage, some will cause premature birth, some will cause uh, baby abnormalities and so on. Okay? All right, so. What, okay. I, what, what I want to say, yeah, finally, if you are talking about preventing the heart and the infection. Yes, we'll go okay. that. that's what we're going okay. to Okay, okay, go, go ahead. No, go ahead, you're already there. I'm already there. <laughs> okay, talking about prevention, the number one thing is abstinence. If you abstain, you will not have any infection, will you? No. Okay, outside abstinence, after all, if you, are, if, you are, if you go to church, you talk about, you talk about fornication mm -hmm. and adultery. If you don't fornicate, you won't have any infection. Mm -hmm. If you don't commit adultery, and you are, you are, you are faithful. You are true to yourself. You are faithful. You have your ritual, ritually faithful relationship. There's no way you can go out and get an infection. Two people that, are, that are don't have any infection, okay, they, are, they, are, they are true to themselves. They are together. They don't go anywhere. Where did the infection come from? Mm. They will not have infection. So the one relation is one abstinence and then mutual faithfulness in a relationship. Mm. That's number one. That's number one, That's prevention. one prevention. Then number two, you are talking about the use of condom. Okay? You are condom. Well, like I said, even condom, condom is not even hundred percent under protection. Because but even with condom, you can still have the HPV. HPV. You can have HPV. Okay? The condom can even bust. Can even bust, and HIV can be transmitted. All kinds of things can happen. So the condom is not 100% after all. Uh, yes. So and it boils down the, to And the funny thing is that when the condom boils, in most cases, the man will know. The woman will even know. Because the feeling will change. And they will know, but they will just continue. They will continue because at that point, they are no more listening with their head. You know? I can understand. <laughs> Emotions have taken over. They just continue. <laughs> and and they just the hold the And finish the business. Hmm. After the business, they don't say, oh, then the oh, regrets will set They start regretting. That was that's that's just the thing. All right, people, we've been talking about sexually transmitted diseases with uh, Dr. Jerry Osawaifo, the CMD of Fountain of Life. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut No, you. go ahead, doctor, it's your, you know, it's your time you're using. Again, it has not just all about prevention. Mm. Prevention also involves immunization. Again, the, the, the infections that can, that can be taken by immunization, like but hepatitis B. Okay, just the ones that can be, it's not yes, all of them that have vaccines. Them. Yes, not all of but them, but at least the, the ones with yes. vaccines, one should endeavor yes, to take endeavor them. Yes, endeavor to take them. So that will protect you from having infection. And then those that are positive, that have, they know that have the infection, they should please not start spreading it. You know, there was a story of a white man 
that had infection that decided to spread it to blacks in the US. Mm -hmm. She knew she was HIV positive. And then he was He just... knew. And he was he, he, he was giving it out to people. Until another lady that had it, that knew what they were doing, now confessed. And the man was arrested. That was quite sad. No, they, they, yes, he wanted to punish the black community. So the blacks, he, he gave it to some blacks, and the blacks not spread it among blacks. In the US, it happened. So, one has to, we must all learn to control ourselves. Control our emotions when it comes to sexual activity. Otherwise, you, you, what will last you, last for a job that will last you for two, two seconds or five minutes will give you, uh, give you agony for the rest of for your life. Of life. That's, that's, that's just so, total abstinence is abstinence. Good if you're not married. If you're not married. And yes, that, that's are, what the Bible says. And if you. No fornication. <laughs> Yeah, marriage bed on the fire. And if you don't try it until you are married. Until you're married. Yes, when you marry, yes, you are not free. You don't have the license okay. to continue. Then if you are married, you know, stay in your mutual whatever. You stay with your partner and, and be happy. Your partner, yes. All right, this is all we're going to do today. Dr. Jerry Sawaifa said it all. And to do a follow-up, I did promise somebody to wait to the end of the program. All right, you can call us on 70 Zero seven zero five nine five seven double zero one zero. We'll see you again on Monday. Until then, please play safe. Bye bye.